guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing my winter home tour. This is gonna be done in two different versions based on all your guys' feedback, which I really, really appreciate. It was honestly like a 50-50 of narrated versus silent. So I will be doing both again. So that way you guys can pick which one you prefer. If you'd love to do both, that's awesome as well. I always appreciate it. But this version is the narrated home tour. So I will be explaining where I picked up the items, if they are still available, if they are discontinued, that kind of thing. So. Without wasting any time, let's get into touring my winter home. So starting in the entryway, this chest is from Wayfair. We've had it for a few years now. It's awesome because all of these drawers are actually separate. So it's like the perfect organized junk drawer system. These birch logs I got from House and Home a couple of years ago. I know Target had some. They'll likely bring them back again next year. These candle holders are from Michael's. They have them in the black and gold. This cake stand I'm using as a riser, and it was from Kirkland's. The vase is my go-to neutral one from Pottery Burn. Then for the floral arrangement, we have some of the infamous Norfolk stems. These are pine cone and twig from Kirkland's. And then these juniper ones I got from the depot. Our mirror is from Decor Steels. And the picture frame was from Hearth in Hand a couple years ago. Then moving along, this is my jute runner from Rugs USA. It is so, so soft. I absolutely love it. They do make it in a bigger version as well, but I just love that it helps ground this space from the doorway. And then our living space is right off of that. So we have some vintage art you can just Google it. I mean, sorry, you can search it on YouTube and they just have like free hour long ones that you can post out. These candle holders were from Hobby Lobby, but Amazon sells the same exact one. These stools I actually recently got. They were from Target, part of the new Studio McGee line. And I absolutely am obsessed with them. I love that they're not chunky. They are very, very cushy too. So they're quite comfortable. And they literally took me five minutes to put together, which was awesome. These were from Hearth and Hand a couple years ago. This basket is from Pottery Barn. I absolutely love it. I like to just like hide my computer and like chargers and stuff in there. This is that Studio McGee pillow. This black table is from Target. I love it. They also make it in a smaller version, but I just, it's nice to have like different shapes going on. This was from Target as well. I got it 90% off. This is Target. This was Target. Our rug is from Boutique Rugs, and it is a washable rug. It is gorgeous, and it works all year round, so I highly recommend that. Our end table was from Target, as well as the little tray and the candle. I got this on clearance from Home Goods a couple of years ago. These were all from Target 
not this past winter, the winter before it. Our coffee table, I've actually recently gotten a lot of questions about this. This was a Facebook Marketplace find that I got when we were just moving in together, my husband and I, and it's, it's definitely too farmhouse-y for me right now. I'm trying to convince him if I can stain it, so maybe you guys can help me out in convincing him that it's worth it. <laughs> These teak bowls were from House and Home, but Amazon has them as well. These rustic bells were also from Amazon. They work great all year round, but especially during Christmas and winter, I love to have them out. This tray was from Target last spring. This was the Anthropology House Candle. They are not in stock anymore, so I apologize. And then this compote gold bowl is from A Floral. I absolutely love it. And I just have that with some of those mini juniper picks and pine cones in the dish. Then moving around behind the living room, we have the iced Norfolk wreath and one of those nail head gold wreath hangers from Hearth and Hand. And then I still have my garland up that will be coming down probably next week, maybe the week after. And I have two different ones. I have the Norfolk garland and then I have this one from Michaels, just layered together with some chiffon ribbon and the bells. This was from Hearth and Hand a couple years ago. This is from Walmart. And then this cabinet, I know I don't share it very often because it's like in an awkward spot. But I've just got like a lot of my like extras in here. But I wanted to tell you guys, I actually found a pedestal like this from Amber Interiors. So I will have that link down below. I know so many of you were asking me for something similar. So I'll have that linked. These were from Hearth and Hand a couple years ago and my son made this little snowman. The log holder was from Target as well as the throw in the pillow. And then this is that Walmart planter I was sharing with you guys. I just grabbed some like random stems I had left over. And this is that Anthropology Capri Blue Volcano. But the awesome thing when this lights up, you can see through the mer mercury glass and it's really, really pretty looking. Now, moving on to the dining space, I still have this set up with that simple styling because, again, we're not expecting anybody to come visit soon, so I don't want dusty plates. But I did swap it out for the cheesecloth, and so many of you guys are asking me how I laid it out. I literally just draped it and folded it in half and kind of went like this to move it around a little bit that's literally all that i did but it looks so good and it is such 
a budget-friendly way of having a table runner, this one was $6.99. And it's doubled up and super long, so if you have a longer table, it will also work as well. These chargers are from Kirkland's. The napkin rings were hearth and hand. The napkins I got from House and Home a couple years ago. And then this arrangement has my absolute favorite magnolia stems from Michaels. I got these on clearance from Target a couple years ago. The twigs are Michaels. The cedar stems are from Hobby Lobby during Christmas. And then this is from Hobby Lobby, it's an asparagus bush. This is a great everyday decor item and you can layer in all different types of florals. So I'll do a whole video on florals because I know so many of you guys requested that. But yeah, this is our dining table setup. Then we have this little corner by our garage door so that way we can hang our keys and I hang my bag. This hook was from Hearth and Hand. The basket was from Hobby Lobby. This is a digital download print from North Print, so I'll have that linked. And then this wreath I got on clearance last year from Target. And then moving into the kitchen, we are still loving our new pendant lights. I have them off right now because otherwise that happens and it's just, I'm sure, irritating for you guys to look at it like that. Um, the wreaths are from Hobby Lobby. They bring them back every Christmas. The counter stools are world market, but they also make them in a bar stool version if you need. And then this arrangement mimics the dining table one as well. The Lazy Susan I got from Home Goods, and the cement planter was a find from The Depot. Then I just like to keep this like a functional station. I know it's really busy looking, but we actually use everything on it. Um, this is a little basket from Hearth and Hand we use for napkins, another Hearth and Hand basket. The recipe box we got some good recipe books for Christmas so we have those out and then these jars are from Target they were super affordable so we have our flour sugar and bisquick ready to go and then that was a crock from last spring from hearth and hand another house candle we always have our kitchen eat out another digital download and just like to have things stay nice and simple, especially this time of year. And I know I'm absolutely going to get questions about this. This was that famous Target hanging basket from like four years ago. Decor Steels has a very similar one. So I will try to find the link to that so that you guys can get the same look. But I love this one because it has a flat back on it, so it's not, like, it's standing off slightly just because of the wreath hanger, but it can actually lay up against a wall, which is nice.
Now coming into our bedroom, this rug we've had for a few years, it was from Wayfair. We're actually gonna change that out pretty soon. The bed frame was from my grandparents. I have no idea where they got it from. The nightstands were from World Market, but they've been discontinued, so I'll link something similar. The mirrors were from Hobby Lobby. The lamp is from Rugs USA, but just a quick note, I put European Gold Rub and Buff on mine because the color wasn't my favorite. So just keep that in mind if you order them, the coloring of the metal will look slightly different. These I got 90% yeah, 90 off at Target. These are the Norfolk stems. These were from Hearth and Hand a couple years ago. These were on Amazon and they've been sold out forever, so I apologize. And then both of these were also from Target. The knobs on the nightstands are actually from Hobby Lobby and they are great and super affordable. So if you get them 50% off, I think they're like three or four dollars, which is awesome. Our duvet cover is Casa Luna from Target. Then we have a hearth and hand coverlet and the Casa Luna knit throw. The back Euro pillows are from Target. These are pillow covers from Hobby Lobby. This was Target last year. The garland was from Michaels a couple years ago. And then the gold boxes were from Hearth and Hand in the fall, and that is from Anthropology. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. This is wrapping up all of my winter decorating. I know so many people are itching to get into the everyday and spring decor. I like to do a little in between. So I'll do some early spring decorating in February. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. I've got lots of other video and inspiration ideas coming up. As always, I appreciate your support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.